So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I um, create a data set uh, for contrary hand detection. The model looks something like this. Um, so in, at first, I want, just wanted to detect the contrary pen it, by itself, this pen here, but uh, I couldn't get anywhere. I mean, even dope was not working well. So um, we decided to also include the hands with the models but we el we also decided to add as much randomization as possible so uh, I'm going to demonstrate in here that how what sort of randomizations I added in the data set and how's the overall data uh, data capture so first I'm going to describe wh what's the data, data acquisition setup is like so this is the setup uh, it basically has four lights in here this has a camera and here is the model now um, usually in dope what happens is that you have the camera stationary and the model it jumps uh, jumps in the screen in different positions but for us it was necessary to keep the model constant uh, in a stationary and rotate the camera around the our target object also in a specific specified angle because we do not want to see uh, the back of the hand. I mean, from we do not we do not need the pose of the hand from here. And sometimes the model ha also has this particular model. Others don't have this model. Uh, this problem. Uh, so we only need the camera to rotate around the hand like this. Also go underneath it like this. Also go above it like this. Uh, so that's what the camera does in here. Uh, I implemented it using the orbital movement component and I made a um, new blueprint in here a child blueprint for uh, domain, uh, domain randomized annotated actor or something like that so here the camera is rotating around the object like this as I mentioned before in specified angles and also changing like this distance and it also is changing the distance so sometimes the hand is close uh, to the camera sometimes it's far so I'm also changing the distance like this so all of these things are implemented in this camera. Other than that, I, what I also did was that these lights are all random lights. They change their X, Y and Z uh, position randomly within a specified limit. And also, uh, also the intensity of the lights change randomly uh, in every, in, uh, during every frame. So we have lighting, uh, lighting variation and we also have the rotation or the angle variation distance variation all those things other than that i also have ra random backgrounds and these are uh, so i use the pascal voc 2012 data set uh, i'm going to show you a few samples of it so this is for example a sample background so i'm also using this as as you can see uh, the benefits of this sort of background is that you also have hands oftentimes you also have hands in the background like this so the model the trained model will recognize to differentiate between a hand which is holding a cartridge like this and a hand which is just like this so that would help in my opinion so another example of background is something like this so these are different sort of back background so the objective is that when the background of our um, of our target object becomes too messy or too difficult uh, the model is ready to detect what it needs to detect uh, so having said that I'm going to um, show one by one um, the implementations in here uh, all the things that I just described show it actually running oh one th other thing I forgot to mention is that um, for this hand model I have sev uh, sorry, six uh, FBA is six models in here so I have actually s not one but six models so I'm going to show off every one of them each one has something different either uh, the hand position is different uh, a little bit the finger positions are a little bit different or um, the pen is a little bit different or the wire is a little bit different for example this is CM1 the model 1 this is model 2 I also added uh, I, I edited these models using blender in some models I added this sort of textures which as you can sh see uh, when you have uh, a texture like clothes you will have uh, this sort of uh, creases in here 
so I added these things in here in order to like add more um, texture like this for example if the glove is too loose it will have uh, this sort of structures in here and these are not just painting these are actually the mesh is made it in this way using blender um, this is another example I also added these things in here this is another model this one is as you can see is very plain I didn't add that in here in the future I might like I keep, might keep one model very plain and one more the same model have, will have a lot of crease this is another model and finally this is another one each one has something different now one point you can see in here all of these models the glove color isn't changing so I solved it in here by adding this uh, random material parameter in here what it does is that it changes the color of the hand the color of the glove randomly into any color uh, so you will have uh, virtually unlimited color or uh, unlimited color uh, number of colors for this glove so the glove color will not be constant to only this color so now uh, I will attempt to show one of uh, these uh, the these things one by one so let me first just uh, show the lighting demo I had a different file for it I don't have different files demonstration files for everything but for this I have a sort of sort of a demonstration file tested out with so what will happen in here is that um, I place this sphere in the center of the camera in the center of this uh, let's say data, data acquisition system and I have these four random lights in here what will happen is that this camera will rotate uh, around this uh, around this ball or the sphere and you will see the lighting changes uh, from different different sides so right now the camera is rotating around the ball around the sphere and as you can see the lights the, their intensity their XYZ position everything is changing randomly as a result you can get a lot of uh, a, a, a lot of different colors uh, around your object so if I delete the all in here now if you look at the hand you will also see that different sort of lightings are uh, created around the uh, around the uh, hand as a result you will get different shadings different sort of reflections uh, of of your uh, hand model as you can see in each sort of lighting the hand looks different so this poses a great challenge for the network to learn to detect the hand um, so that's I think it was a very cool addition uh, to the uh, randomization okay so that was the lighting uh, now I'm going to demonstrate um, other things so first I'm going to show you the, the camera movement in here so in orbital movement first I would um, eliminate teleport randomly because it makes it very difficult to understand what I'm doing in here um, I will also turn off wiggle that is the camera shakes so so that the I turn this on in order for uh, so that the ca the hand is not always in the dead center of the image it uh, if the camera wiggles the hand moves to different locations inside this rectangle or this in, in this image so right now I'm going to shut uh, turn off uh, wiggle in here in order to demonstrate properly and I'm also going to change the I'm going to turn off uh, shoot change distance um, so this is how it looks like now so the as you can see the background is changing first of all um, and second of all the camera is rotating around the around the hand the hand is, is still fixed that's another change uh, so and also the mesh is changing as you can see you will not be able to see very much but what is happening is that as I previously showed you that I have six models of hands so 
in each image or every other image I am changing the mesh the entire mesh of the hand so the hand entire structure is being changed uh, on top of that the lighting is being changed on top of that the color of the glove is being changed uh, along with that I'm changing the background in here as well so in here in, in this randomized image only these things are changed now I'm going to add more things that is a uh, first I'm going to show I'm going to um, in I'm going to turn on a uh, camera wiggle I wish I had a bigger monitor where is it oh man oh, finally okay so um, so right now I'm changing only the rotation and the pitch uh, but I also want to change the distance now so now along with rotation and pitch uh, I will also be changing the distance as you can see now the hand will move forward and background forward and uh, backwards randomly uh, along with the, all the previously mentioned changes so that's a lot of randomization right there but I after doing some demonstration and training I felt like this this particular parameter the distance changing has to be made more extreme uh, I, I will show that uh, show the demonstration in my next video so that's the distance changing now I'm going to turn on camera wiggle so this is wiggle so now it goes completely crazy so as the camera is now shaking you will get clear images by the way for example if I pause now what happens is that a uh, uh, thing that came in my mind is that if I keep the cam, uh, keep the object always inside that or the cent dead center of the image, that is not correct because in real environments the hand will be floating all around the image. So I need needed a way to uh, teleport or move the uh, object in different locations of the image. That's why I turned on wiggle. So as you can see now that the hand is not always in the center it's it's going in different positions but still you have all the previous randomizations um, uh, preserved so that's uh, that's that's all the ca ca um, um, so basically I think that's all the randomizations I added so co to conclude um, I have first of all uh, placed the hand model or sort of a dummy box in here the dummy anchor in here I change the mesh of the hand uh, by using six different mo meshes I change randomize the color of the glove I randomize the lighting using these four lights I randomize the background I, I, I randomize the uh, rotation around the hand the pitch uh, I wiggle the camera I also change the distance uh, so these are all the randomizations I added for this uh, data acquisition system uh, and due to a lot of randomization and, and I as I have to gather uh, like I have to make the model uh, well trained after doing some demonstrations or test runs I felt like the image size would be pretty gigantic like it has to be at least like 20,000 or 30,000 images to cover all the different randomizations that I have added in here uh, so yeah th that's all I hope you liked it. Thank you.